Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you on how to solve OWASP MSTG crack me using Frida. You would require the following tools, Genymotion Android emulator, if you have AVD installed that works perfectly fine, Android debug bridge ADB, you require Frida, if you don't know how to install and set up Frida on Genymotion you can see my previous videos. You require the challenge apk file and jadex gui if you don't know how to download this find the links below in the description before we jump into solving the challenge let's see what's the challenge the documentation says that there is a secret somewhere inside the app just find it when i just say there is a secret inside the app the first thing what comes to mind is static analysis so if the string we are talking about is hard coded in plain text in the app it is pretty easy you can just open it using your favorite decompiler just see the string and it's done but if there is multiple encodings or there is a high level of obfuscation being used about the string you cannot actually find it pretty easily. The most easiest way is to run the app and dynamically extract the string using instrumentation frameworks like Frida. Let's see a demo of the app and dive into the code. I have already downloaded the apk file. Let's install using adb install. Yes, it's successfully installed now. So it says that root detected, this is unacceptable, let's click OK, it exits. And now we have a glimpse of how the app works. Now let us check the source code. I would recommend Jadex GUI instead of JD GUI because it is well maintained and updated. It has some features for dealing with obfuscated apps and it is really similar to JD GUI. But the details and installation of JDX GUI is out of scope for the talk. So if you want to check the installation, please click the link in the description. Coming back, let's check the source. Uh, main activity, which is by default the main, the first activity which will be launched if you are not sure of which activity function which activity gets launched you can go to android manifest file and then check out the activities list so here it is uncrackable dot main activity which is this and a special point or an interesting point what i found here is the package name is completely different than the class name where the main activity is present. This is not common in most of the apps, but you should also keep in mind that whenever you launch the application, you have to know the package name. Whereas when you're hooking the class, you should know which class you're trying to hook. So in our case, we are going to launch wasp.mstg.uncrackable1, whereas we are going to hook this main activity class jumping into main activity we can see on create that is the first function which is going to execute after your activity loads we can see there is multiple checks c dot a c dot b and c dot c so if any of this returns true then it says root detected which means there is some kind of root checks and it checks in a different function b.a and it checks for if the app is debuggable if yes it calls this function a which is here then it creates a dialog box saying that this is unacceptable so the app is going to exit it exits let us check what these functions are c.a c.b and c.c 
C dot A checks for the SU binary. C dot B checks for build tags for the presence of test key string. And C dot C checks for multiple files. Coming to B. We can see it does some sort of checks. Now, the first challenge is to bypass root and debug detection. You can pause the video for some time and think of a way to bypass it using Frida. There are multiple ways how you can bypass this. The first one would be hook each function c dot a, b, c, and b dot a and return false everywhere. So whenever those functions are called, every time it returns false. Or you can actually hook the function a in the main activity and change the implementation of it. Or you can hook the on click listener of the OK button in the alert dialog and then change its implementation or you can hook the system package and then you can change the implementation of exit for this video we are going to use the last one which is the most simplest of all the four let's do it i have already coded so in this it is we are going to create a wrapper for system class and then we are going to create a implementation a re-implementation of exit function so whenever exit is called then it just does nothing it just prints that exit was called and does nothing let us try running this payload Let us close this. Let us check if Frida is running. Yes, it's running perfectly. I forgot to close the app. Let's start Frida again. Let's click OK. Nothing happened. The app does not close because you can see that we have successfully hooked the exit function and what it just did is just print out that exit was called and does nothing. Now we have another functionality. You can type some text, check, verify, no that's not the string the app is expecting. The second part of the challenge is to find the secret or the secret flag which should be matching whatever text we enter here. That's the answer for this. Let's close this. Before that, let's go back to the static analysis. So here, we have bypassed this and then it's working fine. But when the verify button is clicked, this function executes. So as you can see here, a.a is checked. If a dot a returns true, then you get success or else you get nope. Let us check the implementation of this. We can see an interesting function here. There is a string. Then there is some function which is a dot a dot a which will be this then whatever value is returned here is stored in a and checks if the string what we entered is equal to the string what gets returned 
from this variable so let's look at that this looks like AES encryption so it decrypts something then returns the value and the value is checked so this is clearly not a plain text but a hard-coded encrypted text now let us find the secret so if you think you can find the secret you can pause the video for some time and think what function to hook or where exactly to hook so find the secret here we can see that this function is called and the arguments are being passed and the return value is stored here and this value is the value that we have to enter we should also not forget that whatever value is coming is not a string it is more of a byte array let's crack the challenge so let's close this in this we can see that I am trying to hook a dot a class and then overloading dot a function then I execute the function but here the value is not a string so we have to convert that into a string so flag is a temporary variable to store unencrypted or the decrypted string then we convert each character to a string then finally we uh, print the decrypted string using console.log let's try running this let's click ok nothing happened let's click verify nope that's not the answer let's see the log the log says that the decrypted string is I want to believe let's give this a try and success this is the answer expected by the app and we have solved the challenge finally yes we have solved the challenge so if you like the video please hit the like button for more videos please subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts regarding whatever was there in this video please leave it in the comment section thank you